It's more than a roast. It's everything and everyone you need, all at one table. Now, if you're going to be in Cape Town from the 19th to the 22nd of April and would like to go to Taste of Cape Town, well, we're going to give away tickets today. This is how you can win. SMS PNP your name and city to 33728. You can stand a chance of winning a set of double tickets to the Taste of Cape Town. You'll also receive a voucher for the restaurant that we are featuring on today's show. The restaurant is La Colombe and our head chef, well, the head chef from La Colombe, Scott Curtin, joins us in studio. Good morning. Hi. Welcome to Espresso. Thanks for having me. What are you making for us today? I'm going to be doing a little bit of Asian style beef tataki mm -hmm. with a herb mayonnaise, uh, sesame dressing and some nori puffs. Okay, well let's get started. Well first of all we're going to just crumb the, the beef tataki mm -hmm. in uh, coriander and black pepper. Nice. A little bit of salt. Now tataki is a Japanese uh, style yeah, of, of making your meat. It's going to be served just seared raw, very raw in the mm -hmm. middle. We're just going to sear it in a hot pan. Okay, make sure your pan is nice and hot. And you're making three smoking. things for us today. I'm going to be making the beef tataki, mm -hmm. the herb mayonnaise, okay, the sesame so dressing. Pan super hot. Pan super hot, smoking. Just going to turn it just a little bit of colour mm -hmm. each side. And we actually just asked the question, and Kia actually asked it, how do you like your meat? Is it rare, medium rare? Well done. Let us know. 083-913-3728. Give us a call and chat to us live in studio. Tell us how you like to cook your meat. There we go. Just nicely, nicely seared off there. Mm -hmm. That was very quick. No, that's a couple of seconds. Yeah. So you just you, want that colour? You just want the colour, a little bit of flavour on the outside, mm -hmm. just to cook up the spices on the outside. Okay. Then we're going to start off by making a little bit of a herb mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to ask you just to... I was just going to say, I'm very handy in that. the kitchen. We've got a little bit of mayonnaise It's mm -hmm. going to go into it. Some capers. Add some capers. Nice. A little bit of garlic. And then I'm just going to chop a little bit of equal quantities of parsley, mint, mm -hmm. Basil. Nice. Just add that into there. Just give it a little bit of a dice. And I'm doing a bit of a stir, yeah? Yeah, you can stir that up. See, I make a handy sous chef. <laughs> and I can wash the dishes. Yeah, you should mix that all through there nicely. Are you going to be a taste this weekend? What uh, dishes we, are you guys going to be We're going to be doing, we're going to be doing the beef to talking. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing uh, smoked chocolate torte. And also Ooh. we're doing uh, prawn and coconut velouté. Delicious. So this is add, add a little bit of freshness to the dish. Mm -hmm. We'll just put that to the side for now. Then we're going to start by pickling some shiitake mushrooms. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to turn the stove off so you don't get burnt over here. Very so good. we're going to put some uh, soy sauce, mm -hmm. balsamic vinegar, nice shiitake mushrooms. And if you can't get shiitake mushrooms, can you just oh, use, you can use You can use any mushrooms. But you can get shiitake mushrooms, dried, dried ones, and At pick and pay. Pick and pay. Yeah. Then bay leaf, mm -hmm. piece of garlic, and then we've got some palm sugar just to sweeten it up a little bit. Now, I've seen that the global health community are saying that palm sugar is the new alternative to syrup. So, palm yeah, sugar made from a, a date palm leaf or date palm tree, so something completely different and completely healthy. This should marinate for, mm -hmm. for 24 hours. You're just going to bring it just to melt the palm sugar, just bring it mm -hmm. to the boil, reduce it maybe by a third, and then it's good to go. Okay. But I've got some pre-made one, just I see because so, it, yeah, need, right it needs here. to marinate for overnight. Okay. Then we're just going to start by making, now we're going to do the sesame dressing. Mm -hmm. Which you're going to give me a hand with. Of course I am. Here we've got uh, an egg yolk. Mm -hmm. If I can just ask you just to whisk while I add sure. everything. What are we adding next? Now oh, we've got a little bit of Dijon mustard. Mm -hmm. Go. There go. I'm whisking so everyone at home can see what I'm doing. Now we've got uh, some tahini paste, which is sesame paste. Tahini paste. Oh, and this man. is nice because you can buy it just like this from Pick and Pay as well. Yes. And that's also a very healthy alternative as well. And we've got someone on the line, Saris. Hi, you're live on Expresso. Good morning. Good morning. How do you like to cook your meat? Uh, well done. Well done. Yes. So you can try this, uh, it won't be called tataki then, it would be called well done uh, beef, eh? Definitely, you wouldn't be tataki, it's not the rule. Yeah, there we go. Thanks so much, Sarah, so I hope you're going to try and make this dish at home, but, but well done in your case. Okay, thank you. Thank bye. you. 
What else have you added? Yeah, I've just added a little bit of canola oil. Mm -hmm. Now we're just gonna finish with a little bit of rice wine vinegar. Just add a bit there of acid. There we go. That's mm -hmm. really good to go now. There we go. Now, Scott, I believe you did a stint in London in, in Gordon Ramsay's kitchen. I worked at the Savoy Grill for two years, back in four four years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it was experience, lots of lots of stuff <laughs> to learn over there. Very very hectic. And then, of course, you came back to South Africa. I came back to South Africa, started it straight into uh, into Lac Alom, mm -hmm. and been there ever since. I'm just slicing up the beef now. Mm -hmm. That's ready to go. You can see it nice and nice and raw, nice mm -hmm. marbling in the meat. Yeah. And now we're going to start by putting it, finishing it off. I'm just worried you get burnt here, so I'm putting everything off. It's the Kia has been teaching me to be a complete mom because she's starting to be a real mom. She's due any day now, so that's just me being cautious in the kitchen. Okay. Now we're going to finish it off with a little bit of raw chopped beef, mm -hmm. red onion, nice, healthy. A little bit of avocado, full of potassium, full of vitamin A, B, nice, healthy fruit there. Uh, Pickled ginger. Lovely. And some sesame seeds. Mm. Now, where did you learn to make this? This, it's the style of food we've been doing for the last <laughs> couple of years. It just comes naturally when mm. you're just going to moisten it up with a little bit of olive oil. And now we're ready to plate. Okay, perfect. So, we're going to start off by putting a little bit of uh, the herb mayonnaise mm -hmm. on the, in the middle of the plate. Listen, this was quite easy to make. It oh, no. a couple it's, of minutes. It takes a couple of minutes. Yeah. It's, it's not much cooking in it, it's mm. just preparation. And this yeah. makes a nice starter or a nice oh. lunchtime dish. A little bit of a beef tartare. Mm -hmm. Then we've got our tahini. Sesame dressing. Mm -hmm. Don't forget our mushrooms as well. We'll put our mushrooms on now. Now we've got the beef tataki. Straight on top. A couple of little pickled shiitake mushrooms coming up the side. This looks absolutely gorgeous. And now we're going to... These are nori puffs. They're basically prawn chips, mm -hmm. which we flavored with seaweed. So they're basically seaweed, uh, not a seaweed prawn chips that you get in any Chinese shop. Put that on the top. Just there for a little go. bit of crunch, different textures. And, and then finish it off with just a little bit of garden sprouts. How beautiful that looks. And that's what we'll be serving at Taste of Cape Town. Perfect. And that goes onto the plate between 100 and 200 Rand. The dish that you're going to be serving at Cape, uh, Taste of Cape Town. And of course, we've got tickets to give away. Scott, thanks so much for joining us thanks here on me. Expresso. Here's more details on Taste of Cape Town. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.